In this video, I want to look at some of the basic steps that are needed to install Mathematica on your own computer. The instructions are part of the home page of the MAT163 course, regardless of whether or not you're in my transfer section or in one of my sections that is tied to my Calculus 1 class. Over here on the left, on the main course menu for Math 163, there will be an Install Mathematica on Your Own Computer link. What you want to do is you want to click on that, and that will bring up step-by-step -step instructions inside the Blackboard window. You should read these carefully before you start the process of downloading and installing Mathematica on your own computer. Now, if you click on the link, you will be taken to the Buffalo State um, web pages for how to get home access to Mathematica for students. Now, I cannot show you the entire process because the process for having for faculty is somewhat different. But I can step you through part of this process. The first thing is, is you will want to read the instructions on download and install a personal copy of Mathematica first-time users very carefully. If you have never installed Mathematica on a machine using your Buffalo State email address. If, on the other hand, you have taken Math 163 at some point in the past and you did try to install Mathematica at some point in the past, you will need to request a new activation key, and that is a slightly different process. In this video, I want to focus in on what you do if you've never tried to install Mathematica on your own computer. The first thing that you want to do is you want to click on this top link, and that will take you to the Wolfram web page for creating a, an account. Now, you don't yet have an account, so you won't be signing in. You will want to be creating an account. And when you click on this particular button, a new a panel will come up, and the panel will look like this. Now, what you want to do is you want to fill the panel in with all of the appropriate stuff. On this first thing, you will want to fill in your Buffalo State email address. If the email address that you fill in does not end with your .buffalostate.edu, the whole process is not going to work because the only reason that you can install uh, Mathematica on your own computer is that Buffalo State has a site license and Wolfram uses your email address to double check that you are indeed a student. So put your full Buffalo State email address in that first particular thing. Then you put in your first name as your Buffalo State academic records show your first name. After that, you're going to put in the last name. You will then need to create a password that is at least eight characters long. You should definitely have at least one non uh, alpha nu alpha numeric symbol in that password. Because this is a password that you are hardly ever going to use, I would recommend that you write it down on a sheet of paper and then confirm it. Make sure that you check this box here before you click on the Create Wolfram ID. Once you create the Wolfram ID, you will want to go back to the tab for what do you do next. You do not yet log out of Wolfram. A verification link is going to be sent to your student email address. We're on this item number four. So while you're still logged into Wolfram Alpha, go to your student email address and look for email from Wolfram Alpha with a link for completing your registration. Click on that link and complete the registration. Then you go back and you sign out of the Wolfram portal from the page that you just signed into it. And then you sign back in. Now when you sign back in, things are going to look like this. 
you will want to type in your Buffalo State email address. And then click continue and you will get prompted for your password. And uh, you don't necessarily need to say, remember me, I have it set because I log in on sort of a semi-regular basis. And then you will sign in. Now your user portal is not going to look the same as mine because I am a faculty member. So let's come back here. What you will do when you're signed back in is you should be prompted to request an activation key, confirm your contact information, and click submit. And then you will check your email for a download installer. And when you see the email with your download installer link, click on the installer and enter the activation key. Now I want to stress that the download process, the installer is going to run for up to an hour or more, depending upon the robustness of your internet connection. So please make sure that you're in a position where you can sort of leave your computer running. I would strongly suggest that you have the computer plugged in so you don't run out of juice and just let the installer run for at least an hour before you try to open up Mathematica. Um, the activation key should get a prompt. If you don't get a prompt during the install process, you will get a prompt the first time you open up a Mathematica notebook. Now, the next thing that I want to say is if you somehow don't get a request for the application key, definitely click on this particular link it will take you back to Wolfram, and we will be patient and see if it loads. And fill in the appropriate information here. Now, yours might look slightly different than mine because, as I said, mine is a faculty license. Uh, but if you have to fill this in, click sub submit, you'll notice that it is anticipating this. The important thing is, is anytime you are asked to be downloading a product, you want to be saying Mathematica for students for sites, and it will be a single machine license. Um, the other thing that I want to say is if you run into any problems with Mathematica, then click on the Wolfram support link in my instructions on how to do it. And when you get to the Wolfram, to this Wolfram site, click on installation and you'll have a panel for filling in a report on what's going on. Or if you prefer, you can call Wolfram Alpha during business hours in central time, because they are located out in Champaign-Urbana, Illinois. Um, but until you're a subscriber, this is not going to work. If you call them, be prepared to wait. But in this particular thing, you should give them a detailed message. You don't just say, it won't install. Uh, fill in all of the, or the information. The organization would be Buffalo State College. Do give them a phone number. Uh, the product, na product name will be Mathematica or Mathematica for Students. Um, if you've gotten as far as an activation code, put that in. If you don't yet have an activation code, say something in the message up here. And um, if you can take a screenshot of what's going wrong and attach the screenshot by choosing the, the file for the screenshot, that would be useful. Also, you must check this button in order for Wolfram to get back to you. And then finally, click the Send button. The last thing that I want to say is that 
I can try to help you through the installation process if you are on a laptop and you bring your laptop to my office. But I cannot diagnose what's going on if I can't see the laptop. And I am not an expert, so I'm much more likely to tell you you're going to have to get help from Wolfram Alpha. So that's what you want to be doing for trying to install Mathematica.